Hey guys, CB Super here. Uh, today I want to go over rendering out alphas. Um, one thing I recently ran into was an alpha rendering problem. And I'm just going to jump in and show you exactly what I was doing and what happened. So if you come over here and you right click and you create a new fusion composition, and I'm going to leave it as the duration of five seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and create that. And then I'm going to bring it down here. Now I know that I want my fusion composition to be longer than five seconds. I'd actually like it to be, maybe we'll just say like right around 10 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and jump into fusion and I'm going to click on a text and I'm just going to connect it to this output here. And I'm just going to call this alpha and I'm going to size it up a bit. Now you'll notice that text naturally has its own alpha mat. Um, and if I, so if I come over here and I click on the viewer and I press A, you'll see that the background is black, uh, the text is white because you've created it inside of Fusion, so it naturally just has its own mat, uh, which is really nice. Um, so if I was to, say, create a background node here, um, and then I actually switch these so the background's on the bottom and the text is on top, and maybe I'll make this red. Um, you'll see that it just naturally masks it out so that it'll let the background see through, uh, which is pretty cool. But what I'm gonna go ahead and delete that background and delete this merge. Um, I wanna render out this, this alpha mat. And to do that, I'm just gonna come over to the delivery tab and I'm just gonna change the settings a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna come over to the custom tab, come over to individual clips, maybe retitle this alpha render and QuickTime's fine come over to the codec and change it to DNX HR and then it'll open up this little uh, export alpha so if yours isn't um, if you're not seeing that you might still be on single clip and you'll notice when you come down here you won't have the option to click on the, the alpha so just click over to individual clips make sure it's on DNX HR and then you can come down and you could uh, click on the export alpha and pre-multiplied is fine. Now just add it to the render queue and start the render. Uh, one thing you notice is that if you were watching the progress bar it actually stopped a little bit early and it completed the render and the reason for that I'm finding if I come over here and I import this media clip come over to the alpha render import it and now it's here but it's only half the length that I want it. Um, and if I come over here and I just uh, do a solid color generator, and then we'll just change this color to maybe red. Um, you'll notice that it is transparent and the alpha is showing up correctly, but it, but it only rendered out about five seconds of my clip. And the reason for that was because when I brought in this original fusion composition, we actually left it at five seconds and we manually extended it. Um, and so for whatever reason, it, it usually won't work very correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this uh, fusion clip. And I'm actually gonna create a new fusion composition. I'm gonna leave it at five seconds. So I'm gonna create it and I'm gonna bring this one in. This time though, what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna delete those. Um, this time what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna extend this clip out, uh, but I'm actually gonna come over to new compound clip, create a new compound clip, and now bring this into Fusion. All right, now that I've done that, uh, I'm gonna just recreate this text um, in the same manner that I did earlier, and I'm just gonna reconnect it, come over and I'm gonna call this a alpha four, alpha render four, uh, DNX HR, export alpha is turned on. Add this to the render queue and start a render. Now you'll notice that it's gonna go the full length of the clip, is, which is what we wanna see. And as soon as it's done rendering, we can jump over to the edit tab and we'll go ahead and bring this in this is gonna be alpha render four. Alpha render four on the bottom here, and you'll notice that it is now the correct length, which is what we wanted to say. Let's bring a color over just to make sure. Uh, 
we'll just do red. Uh, and, and you can see that it renders out correctly. So one thing to note is, yes, um, that's how you render out an alpha, but it also, it also matters how you created the fusion or compound clip prior to creating the alpha and rendering it out. Um, if you don't create the clip correctly, uh, you'll have problems where it'll only be the original length clip. And there's several times where we'll be playing around with the length of a composition. Just make sure that once you've done that, that you go back, if you need the alpha. If you don't need the alpha, it's not as big of a deal. But if you do need the alpha, then for whatever reason, once you click it over to um, DN DNxHR, uh, it does a lot of weird things. Like you, you've probably already noticed that um, you have to do another compound clip as well um, when you when you want the audio. If your audio is not playing, just make sure that you you do the entire. Not on that one necessarily, but say if there was audio on this one over here, uh, you're gonna need to like make a whole new compound clip out of both the audio and the video. And then that way when you go over and you render it out, it'll render out correctly with the correct audio versus going back to the timeline audio. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I, I know it's kind of a small thing, but um, I know I've seen a lot of dispute as the correct way to both render out alphas and how even to create um, new fusion clips. So I hope that helps. Um, oh, one more thing. Um, you can also, uh, if you build a solid color, and let me go ahead and delete all this. If you do a solid color and then you extend it and then you turn this into a no new compound clip, this was the same as if you were just creating a uh, fusion and then create and putting it back into a, no com no, a new compound clip. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be correct. Um, so you can do it either by bringing the solid color out or you can even right click and you can create a new fusion composition Maybe give it the, the time that you know you want it to have, 10 seconds, say. And that way when you create that fusion clip and you bring it out, uh, it's gonna be at the time that you actually want it. But if you decide that you do wanna change the time limit, like you just, it's just not long enough, just make sure you come over and you create a new compound clip. And if say if you need to re-add or re-import some of that footage, just know that you're gonna have to do that and then you can come back in and you can make it into a new fusion clip and then and then it should work correctly um, but you do have to like do that action in order to reset it before uh, being able to render out your full alpha all right so i hope that helped if you guys liked this video make sure to like and subscribe and hit that little bell notification and i will see you guys in the next one thanks